Hey everybody, this is Barry Mankin here with Four Corners Home Inspections and Environmental. All right, how are you doing? We have a beautiful day, a little warm here in Tennessee. We are uh, just outside Nashville and we're in a rural area looking at a home for uh, mold and uh, doing some testing, that sort of thing. But uh, the spidey sense is up and we're trying to make sure we're looking with both sets of eyes. So both the home inspection side and the environmental side, sometimes they work together, especially as it relates to air quality and influences um, such as VOCs, that sort of thing. Carbon monoxide, you know. So with that said, we're gonna show you a little something from our vantage point just right here alone, which we saw other things inside that we just don't have time for in this video, but simple rule, right? See that guy right there? Chimney. Okay, that chimney is a little short, okay? There's a wood stove in the basement. Subsequently, that wood stove is not connected the way it should be, which is a whole other video. But there's a rule that is, relates to the height on these things, okay? So, number one, you always want to make sure your flashing is good for water and all that sort of thing, which the flashing is okay, you know, on it. It doesn't have a cricket, but it's not wide enough to require it, so blah, blah, blah. But what we do need is height. Why? Because that air pressure comes down as it blows against this roof line. It backdrafts. It can't effectively exhaust away from that roof line. So, there's a rule called a 2310 rule, all right? So if you're not familiar with that, remember 2310, okay? So we want to be two feet higher than anything within, well, <laughs> anything within 10 feet across. Two feet higher than anything within 10 feet across and three feet off of the roof. Now, we got our three feet, but given the pitch of that roof, when you come over at 10 feet, the way wind reacts with that pitch and that exhaust, you cannot effectively exhaust without any potential backdrafting, okay? So subsequently, that backdrafting happens in a basement or a crawl. Well, not a crawl, sorry, a basement. And um, that backdrafts into that area. So you're, you're getting all kinds of um, debris in there. You're getting carbon dioxide, carbon monoxide, and your breathing space is compromised at that point because your house is pulling all that stuff up. If you've got an HVAC unit, which they do, that's using that fresh air makeup, fresh air makeup. When you're backdrafting, we've got another area that's backdrafting gas. So this is wood burning. That's gas, right? So we got carbon dioxide, carbon monoxide. We got problems. All right. So that represents your airspace in the basement. And then when you draw that in, especially if there's any vents down there, which there is, um, it's going to draw that up into your breathing space, into your second level. Okay. So something as simple as that can affect this area here <laughs> in your house. Okay. So again, two, three, 10, that needs to be taller. Obviously we, we got the spark arrestor, all that sort of thing. But think about those rules as it relates to your chimney or any other exhaust with a B vent, 2310. All right. Hopefully that helps. Stay cool. Okay. We're going to go see a concert tonight. Take it easy.